Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel yet again. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you are checking out the bell icon and getting all the notifications for when my material or my content uh, comes up. Today, I'm super excited to show what premiered last last week on Saturday. Um, it's been a week, but here it is. The Minnesota Black Robe Regiment uh, now has its official website up and running and this is it so once again a huge thanks to michelle and her dad uh, michelle designed built um this particular uh, website she's very very good at what she does and she has an offer if you would like to have a website designed uh, and built for whatever purpose it might be whether it be uh, constitutional issues, whether it be some sort of other civil liberties or constitutional liberties um, content, if it's for business, if it's for just uh, hobbies, whatever the case might be, Michelle would like to, if for lack of better terminology, would like to offer her services to you. And here's what her, her payment would be. She would like to encourage you to invest in me. I know. Shameless self-promotion time. Uh, she said, hey, TC, I will gladly build a website for anybody who buys you a new tower. Uh, she said laptop, but I would prefer a tower or PC. Uh, my stuff's really old. And so I, you know, I struggle to produce content uh, that's decent, uh, period. But uh, for editing and actual visualization, uh, I have a hard time because I use a really old computer and everything runs slow. And she said, I would like to build a website for somebody and their payment would be buying you a new tower. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. Um, actually, you can contact me here on the website under, let's see, where is it at? Under contact. Yeah, let's move this over here, right? So hit contact and wait for it to respond. And uh, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be newsletters coming out. And you can fill out all your information right here and uh, show that you're interested and Michelle and I will see it. And not only is this a thanks to Michelle, but this is also a thanks to Michelle's dad. Michelle's dad is a Vietnam War veteran. He's also a retired California Highway Patrol officer uh, who's highly decorated. And he paid for um, the the domain name and for the website and they gave it to me so i'm touched and so thank you very much so away from the contact page and back to home so here we see what's what's the purpose bringing biblical reasoning and thought to bear on matters on matter of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness putting the constitution in its proper place over elected servants for we, the people. And that's why it exists. And she was so kind as to look up this quote. And I love this quote from uh, de Tocqueville. Not until I went to the churches of America and heard her pulpits flame with a right, with righteousness, did I understand the secret of her genius and power America is great because America is good. And if America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. How prophetic, right? Not, not in the actual, pro he was a prophet way, but it's such a prophetic statement. If America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. And I think we're on the cusp of that right now, people. It, it's a powerful statement. So here we have a little bit of the about. Um, most of you know me. But this is going to be for people who happen to stumble across. And look at the way she did this. She laid this out beautifully. Uh, she let me write my about. And she put it in here just perfectly. And I just, I love the way she's done this. She does great work. She makes me look good. And, and she's intertwined these two because these things are linked, right? Um, and I, and I do want to say, like, for years, I really misunderstood Romans 13, 1 through 7, and 1 Peter 2, 13 through 17. I, I took a really faulty uh, 
doctrinal and theological position on those things. And it took a lot of um, pride swallowing to reverse course on, on that. There will be a blog coming. She's uh, set the page up so that it's uh, linked to my YouTube channel. Uh, boy, don't look at that face for too long. And it also links, uh, you can go link through it down here and we'll also be posting videos directly to um, the website so that when YouTube starts to come for me, which eventually they will, I will eventually run afoul of them. And instead of just shadow banning me and unsubscribing people, they will start to um, just block my videos and they do it to others. And Carrie and Carter at Unsafe Space have had lots of struggles with that. So we're gonna be putting up resources uh, for people to uh, get more information. I'm gonna be linking to Michelle's. Uh, so we got Sheriff Mac on here. We got Unsafe Space on here. Uh, we have Restore Freedom with Catherine Henry. Uh, first of all, Sheriff Mac is awesome. I love Sheriff Mac. I love Unsafe Space. These guys are phenomenal. Uh, truly patriotic people. Uh, and, you know, Carter and I are diametrically opposed. Theologically, Carter is an atheist. Um, but he is a, a, a stand-up guy. And I could, I could stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe or, or excuse me, not toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but arm-in-arm -arm with him and fight this fight about liberty. Um, Catherine Henry is the same way. She's just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal um, constitutional lawyer. And we need about 5,000 more of her in every little county across the country. And then, of course, Michelle's blog, True Patriots blog. She just check her out. She's got some amazing content and she's worth listening to. Here's the part I'm really excited about. And there's going to be a video coming out about this, but it's the Minute Man Citizens Alert. This is going to be, as I mentioned in another video, this is going to be out there for um, people who are oath takers, especially like within the law enforcement community or for uh, military members who are under the gun for standing on the constitution, for taking their oath seriously and wanting to uh, ensure that they aren't violating their oath because they know that when you violate your oath as an oath taker, uh, you're, you're actually um, committing at some level uh, a crime uh, could be treasonous, it could be traitorous, but at, at some level, when you violate that oath, you are putting yourself uh, in a very precarious position. And so many people out there um, are in a, still in a precarious position when, when they refuse to violate their oath or when they speak out about things that they know are not, are not constitutional. And they get to a point where they find themselves in harm's way and they could lose their careers, they, they could lose income, they, you know, they could lose opportunities. And, and that shouldn't be. A person who stands up for the Constitution, a person who stands up and defends the Constitution, and defends the Bill of Rights, um, should never have to worry that they're going to be harmed in a substantive way. Not necessarily physically, I mean, that could come too. Um, but they shouldn't have to worry about it. And that's why we're going to be doing the Minute Minutemen's citizens alert. And what that's going to be is it's going to allow for people to come in, um, leave contact information or ask for help. Uh, we are not attorneys, but we are going to try and help people get connected to organizations, uh, legal defense funds, things like that, that could be powerful in helping them fight for their constitutional liberties and to keep those. And as I mentioned in, in another recent video, uh, you look at Merriweather versus Shawnee State um, Board of Trustees. These things are very important uh, for public employees, for people who work for government entities. And I want to make sure that we're really doing everything we can to help those people because they deserve it. They have to, they need to have people standing up for them. And it needs to start with we the people. So as things go forward, uh, look for a video explaining that more, uh, why I'm going to be calling it the, Minute, the Minutemen Citizens Alert. And 
when you become aware of people in, in that limelight, there again, especially people within the law enforcement and military communities, uh, we need them to be constitutionalists. We need them to be constitutionalists because they're the last line of defense from government overreach. They really are. They're the last line of defense. And so we need to be defending them. Uh, it's really important. So please check out the website, subscribe, be looking for newsletters, uh, be looking for new videos, looking for new content. Um, I'm going to invite people to come in and write um, blogs, uh, write uh, essays, and we'll be adding those in and attributing them, and we'll be linking to new resources. So as you become aware of other people who should have their stories told, let me know, all right? So we can let them tell it in their own words, or we can do interviews. And also, coming on the Minnesota Black Robe Regiment uh, website will be a podcast. So what the format's going to be exactly, I do not know, but we're going to be doing a podcast as well. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for paying attention. Make sure you check out the website. Make sure you join. And if you can take Michelle up on her offer to build you a website, let her know because DC needs a new tower. And I'd like to help her and help you. Not just because it helps me, but she does phenomenal work, as you can see. So until next time. As always, Six Emperor Tyrannus.